I am Anil Kumar and in this particular video we will solve few quadratic equations which do not have real solutions. Uh, what I am trying to say is if I give you an equation like x squared plus 1 equals to 0 you will say it has no solution, right? So it does not have any solution in real domain. I mean in the domain where the numbers are all real numbers. But if you consider the complex numbers then it has two solutions. Now to give you an introduction of complex numbers we are talking about, what we have is square root of a negative number, let us say negative 1, is equals to i or i is that number whose square is minus 1. Now because of that we can actually find the roots of quality equation even when we do not have any real solution. So in this particular case we can say x square is equal to minus 1 and x is equals to square root of of course plus and minus minus 1 and as you know square root of minus 1 is i so we can write this as plus minus i so that is the solution for the given equation right so that is how you can solve quadratic equations in the domain where x belongs to set of complex numbers right now just to practice let me give you one more question and we'll do a couple of questions like this let us say if I have 4x square plus 1 equals to 0 then can you find the value of x okay you can pause the video answer the question and here is my solution so in this particular case we'll do as we did earlier we'll have 4x square equals to minus 1 x square equals to minus 1 over 4 and x will be equals to square root of plus and minus of course minus 1 over 4 right now that gives us plus and minus square root of minus 1 is i and square root of 1 over 4 is 1 over 2 so we can get 1 over 2 i right so that becomes the solution for the equation 4x squared plus 1 equals to 0 right so that is how we can actually find the solution for quadratic equations which do not have any real solution so now as you can see always whenever we have complex roots these are called the complex roots they will be in pairs and we call them conjugate pairs so they will always exist in conjugate pairs as we saw in this particular case correct now based on this knowledge what you can do is you can solve few questions on your own so as a practice you can solve x square plus 3 equals to 0 and let us say let me give you a few more 3x square equals to 1 over 3 equals to 0 okay so try solving this questions and remember whenever you find solution with complex roots always you should get two complex roots they are always in conjugate pairs i hope that helps thank you